part of the United Nations International Day to End Poverty. So since 1992, this has been marked by these big uh, chiefs in, uh, in, the, in the world leaders in UN as a very important day. So, uh, you know, and this is, I guess, a part of that mobilization effort to get this day well, you know, known, and that, you know, actually the people who are experiencing poverty themselves are the leaders in this movement to fight uh, poverty. The poets we're gonna hear tonight are using poverty as a form of self-expression that enables them to celebrate their right to culture and make their own struggles and aspiration and as a way of getting the voices heard. And now, and my heart say breathe, and my nerves say live, and I wore my stigma like a thorny crown. How we all see poverty depends upon our views. What it really is, is never in the news. It is never seen before. Please come round to judge you before even stepping through your door. Sometimes I need absence to escape for a while, to gather my thoughts, to pause and reflect, to try to make purpose of the whole damn mess. Or well, why or why do we hide ourselves from humanity? Or well, why or why aren't we heard for our voices? We cry aloud, but we're not heard. Here's where I eat. Here's where I sleep, in the middle of the street. Rain soaks my sheets. Breeze comes through. Why do people judge us for the colour of our skin? People should be judged by what they hold within. So, to the powers that be, take notice of me. Sit up and listen to my voice. And heed the words that I am saying to you. I will stand up and be counted. You will not silence me, nor will I go away. I am here to stay, and I will have my say. Profession. A shame to be broke, feeling useless. Barriers. You cannot cross. Bring us all together, make the world at one, end all the hostilities, together having fun. I want to see equality, definitely and constantly. I'm half white, half black and I give no apology. Where everything is dark and cold and you don't know which way to turn. Just look ahead and say a prayer. Hope the light is at the end of the tunnel. That's the way I like to be, always. No more misery, no more pain, no more than my head in shame. I feel like I am blossoming into a lovely flower, giving me a new lease of life, giving me back my power. My throat is dry, I used up all my words, rehearsing speeches that will never be heard. Why are platforms reserved when there's something we all deserve?